not a vlog number two. HMS Queen Elizabeth. Quite a lot of noise in the drone world this weekend about it. So I just wanted to make a quick comment about it. If you don't know or haven't caught up what happens, some Facebook or, well, we don't know quite who it was, but a, a group or a person from a Facebook group, Black Isle Images, um, or that's how they identify themselves, have posted or has posted video of HMS Queen Elizabeth, the Royal Navy's latest and greatest aircraft carrier. And they've posted images or video of the flight deck and they've landed on the flight deck of the thing. The thing is still under construction. So it's not actually the Royal Navy's latest machine. It is due to come in service and was on manufacturer's trials. So it doesn't have all the shooty bits that it might have in it. Um, but nevertheless, it's still of interest. So if you wanted to make a model of it, uh, the imagery and the video that they provided could easily help you create quite a detailed 3D model of the thing and no doubt help you in many ways with your intelligence gathering. That said, there are hundreds of minutes on the tube of the U of HMS Queen Elizabeth already. So I can't help but think that, that the Royal Navy is not going to be too concerned about it. But what it's got me, it's got me thinking two things really. Um, the first thing, I'm an old duffer. Loose lips sink ships. Um, does it really matter? Should we care about what we're filming from the air? Should we sh then care about what we share when we film from the air? It almost goes together, doesn't it? I think we should. I think we have a responsibility um, as aerial photographers to consider what we're putting out into the wild and any security implications it might have. That maybe makes me an old man. Rant in the bottom in the comments below if that makes me an old man and I shouldn't be saying that sort of thing. Um, so there's that element to it, and then the second element to it, of course, is very on topic. Last week we broke the story that several US agencies are stopping using DJI equipment over concerns, or alleged concerns, over what data exactly they share um, when you're not looking. And this strikes me as being that sort of 1,000 monkeys or a million monkeys typing eventually will come out with the works of Shakespeare. If you put a million aircraft out into the wild and have citizen users flying them, eventually somebody will stumble across something that is of use to you. Uh, perhaps this is a perfect example of it. So, huh, will, that have cons will it have consequences for these Black Isle guys? Who knows? We can remember the chap who flew FPV and had a flyaway near Liverpool, uh, somewhere on Merseyside, I can't remember the name of exactly where it was, but it ended up, the machine ended up where they fixed submarines and that got him into a lot of trouble and quite a hefty fine, so I can't help but think that they'll be in line for that fine. And as if to underline that, back in the day when I was in the Air Force, uh, and I was based in Scotland for a while, the Russians had dozens of boats with long antennas on things, loads of fishing boats, and they weren't fishing at all. They were keeping an eye on what we were doing and what was happening, spying just off the coast. And that <laughs> made, me, uh, made me a wry smile when I noticed that one of the first comments on the imagery on Black Isle Images on Facebook was from a Russian. And so that must mean now that uh, citizen taken geotagged image, imagery um, so stuff that we're taking with GPS coordinates on it must be making the spying game easier and it must involve less travel now it must, made, it must have made it more boring because we're doing the work for the spy agencies <laughs> they've just got to go to, to to sites with geotagged imagery and there it all is for them placed on the earth or even Google Earth anyway this short rant is over like subscribe whatever don't forget to watch us 2100 every Tuesday 2100 GMT um, we have a hangout and chat and mumble through things in much the same way as this so like subscribe and tell me I'm, a, I'm an old duffer in the comments down below I thank you cheerio <laughs>